Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's book review is I'm the Girl by Courtney Summers. Now, I found Courtney Summers by, I think a lot of people did, with her book Sadie. And that book is practically perfect in every way possible. It's a five out of five stars, 100% fantastic book and so when i saw this book at the library it says it's a young adult thriller and i was going for the vibes at least for the summary going on the vibes like sadie and i was really happy about that so i picked it up and i read it within five days give or take because the story was interesting the characters were all fascinating did i enjoy the book though not in the way that is like a happy go lucky or oh, I really enjoyed the book I was intrigued and fascinated at the book because this novel is definitely a thriller and it talks about some very difficult topics and it shows very clearly some very difficult topics and that's where you're like, I can't say that I enjoyed it, but I still gave it like high stars. A lot of people I saw on Goodreads after I finished the book, I looked on Goodreads and Amazon and they said, I can't say that I enjoyed it, but it was a great book. You know, that type of vibe. We follow Georgia and she's 16 years old and she is living with her older brother because her mom died and her mom used to work at this resort for very rich people called Aspera and she is obsessed with beauty, obsessed with Aspera, obsessed with the Aspera girls but little does she know that it's messed up there and even when she realizes like in a way that it's messed up she still wants to be part of it because she thinks that she's gorgeous basically. Um yeah <laughs> That was an interesting part of the story. We'll get to that later. But then a young girl, 13 years old, is found right outside of Aspera. And she is deceased. And she also was assaulted before the killer um, took her life. And Georgia finds her. And she's also hit by a car by the killer and her stuff is taken which is an important point because the stuff that was taken are modeling shots that she got from someone at the mall yeah because she wants to be an asparo girl and she wants to be a model and an actress and she thinks that she can because she's so gorgeous and that's her goal she says forget about school and education i just want to be using my skills as, and my beauty to go somewhere in life because they're very poor. Her and Tyler, very poor. Her mom, before she died of cancer, was very poor. So I'm gonna say right out the bat that Georgia is not a reliable narrator. And I think that is fairly obvious when you get to the point where she just can't stop talking about how pretty she is. And she always looks at herself in the mirror and she always talks about her body parts, specific body parts and how she wants to use them. And then when she kind of befriends the owners of Aspera, they're basically teaching a 16 year old how to be sexual and get men that are adults or just like any, any men in general to bend down on their knees and do whatever Georgia wants them to do using her looks and sex. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, we're going with this? I don't know about <laughs> Okay, but I'm not saying that this never happens. I know multiple women when I was in high school and in college that thought the exact same. It's not unrealistic, let's say that. It's just, it's uncomfortable reading it and it's it was very uncomfortable watching it when I was the same age in high school and even in college because 
20 to 23 year olds, I think the, that group was in in college. I mean, you're you're almost or at drinking age. You're adults. You're also you know about to graduate college because uh, one of them like really smart, but they're obsessed with their looks and. I'm not 100% sh sure why that college group went to college because like right after they went to Hollywood or New York City to become models and or actresses. So, but you know, not my business why you got a college degree. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my world, but it does happen, right? I think it's jarring when you see a 16 year old that is doing the same thing that those 20 something year olds in college were, was doing to other male college students. The uh, female owner, well, co-owner of Aspera, we learn that she has a very messed up childhood. And so she was rescued by the other co-owner, Matthew. And they married and you would think that they're, they have perfect life and all that stuff. And Aspera is it's just fantastic, a resort for rich people where they can go away and relax. But you know, basically it's just full of drugs and assault and illegal activities. And it's where it ties into the death of the 13 year old girl, not just because she was found outside of Aspera's gates, but it's also noted that there is only one road that goes to Aspera. So the in and out one road, why was she found on the road to and from Aspera? Now we know why Georgia was going down that road is because she wants to be an Aspera girl. She can't help but look at it. She also had the modeling pictures in her bag and she wanted to do anything that she could to get into Aspera. And then it does finally happen, even against the wishes of her brother because her brother does not like Aspera and their mom was fired. And the negative of the book is that we don't figure, like we're not told and we can't figure out exactly why the mom was fired but they say that it was like blackmail which okay that could be an array of possibilities so it was just left up in the air and I like you could throw in like a, a paragraph or two or like some dialogue about why she was fired for blackmail I don't know I don't like that hanging out there but that is a huge part of the story Georgia thinks that her mom is holding her back because basically she's she's jealous of her dreams of becoming a model because she's so pretty <laughs> i can't i don't know it's so materialistic it's very superficial and when it's a 16 year old girl trying to act like an adult and in many ways she is acting like an adult because then she is welcomed into Aspera by the owners of the resort and they're messed up little mofos. Okay, I can't, I can't um, try not to spoil the whole freaking book, but they're disgusting. And everyone that works there like in the inner circle are disgusting. And the men that assault the Aspera girls or just anyone in Aspera working there are disgusting but that is unfortunately realistic and it's a note to how powerful people can be protected easily and the people that are working for the powerful people get jack shit I mean does it happen everywhere no but it happens so let's not say that it doesn't because I did see um, you know a few reviews saying oh you know powerful people don't get away with stuff I'm like what world are you living in I don't know so like I grew up in Washington DC and I saw those rich bitches get away with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff because if you have money you get the best lawyers just saying the negatives uh one i mentioned that the mom blackmailing someone or something of somewhere in aspera and that's why she was fired just leaving it hanging there 
didn't like that. The other thing I didn't like was the ending. I think it could have been a little better. As in, so you can make the argument that Georgia finds out the whole truth and nothing but the truth of Aspera and she can't change anything because everyone that is upper middle class or rich in the town around Aspera are members and therefore they're not going to fix anything that's happening. Even there's just illegal crap happening all day every day in that resort they're not going to fix anything because they're part of the club i understand that to the fullest extent but her just taking off the locket that the female owner gave her after everything that happened everything that she figured out and everything that she saw in the last 50 pages of the book that's not a great ending i think there could have been stuff added to the ending that it would make more sense and would feel more full of an ending. She also at the ending there were a lot of pages that were just kind of just had a couple of words and or like a couple of short sentences and it was just like in a row down and I don't know if that was very effective for the ending. It felt empty because there was a lot of empty page there. Maybe that was done on purpose. You are made to feel empty because Georgia is feeling very empty right now. I get that in a way, but also you do need to make the ending pop and remember what happened and really instill the horrible crap that just happened. And I don't remember much of the last five pages because they were so kind of scarce with the small sentences that just kind of like line up and then everything else is a blank page. It could just be my ADD that I'm not remembering because it doesn't look normal as it should. And then there's also just like one page is I took off the necklace and that's that's it. I don't know. That was a little weird. The prologue and the epilogue I was confused at first. The prologue is like 20 pages and it I was confused because they didn't have a they don't have chapters and so first I thought they had the prologue page and then you went and then it's 20 pages and I'm like is this still the prologue because this is really long or is this a misprint or something and then it got to part one and I'm like oh this whole chunk is just a prologue but you could just make that the like part one <laughs> and this is the same thing for the epilogue where you had those weird um very blank pages at the end for about five pages and then uh, there are some pages where it's like a, an actual story wrapping up but that's pretty that was pretty thick as well i don't know about that <laughs> I don't know if you needed a prologue or an epilogue. Also, there are random times, or maybe there's not random, but there are times where there's a drop of, uh, it's either blood or a tear, you decide, but it looks like that right there above a new chapter, but they don't have chapter heads. Some of them don't have that drop, others do. I was trying to figure out what does it mean if it has a blood drop and maybe maybe don't quote me but maybe it's when she's at aspera or she's talking about aspera i'm not 100 percent sure on that so another point that i'm on the fence about i really am on the fence is that i don't know if this is young adult thriller i think it's a thriller i don't think it's young adult because she's 16 and she is assaulted by two men at aspera in two different occasions and then there is uh, one where she is groped and almost assaulted and there are no consequences to that this would be a point to make about finding victims from predators they go and find the victim that has a single mom or a single dad or maybe like grandparents so grandparents aren't very active because they're usually older or a brother that's older and is working overtime and 
maybe has like one day off but that day off he's sleeping type of thing because he's working so much and also girl or boy just anyone that they think they can mold and groom and that was that was unfortunately Georgia now so you did see the grooming process happen you saw the the three assaults and then you see that she is happy in a way with the second assault she doesn't count it as an assault because she's going off the female aspera owner saying this is a man's world and you basically okay you basically have to give them sex yeah, okay so okay yeah so <laughs> i can't do it right now that's why i say that she's horrible she's this grown ass woman is telling a 16 year old yeah go have uh, sex with my husband i gave him to you and we're gonna be a family no i'm almost certain the love the love interest correct me if i'm wrong someone in the comments the love interest is in her 20s because they were saying that she's in college and she's back in college She's back from college because her dad is going bonkers because the daughter was uh, assaulted and killed. And yeah, I get it. Though he's not innocent, but I'm not going to spoil that. <laughs> like, the, the love interest is in college. And she's not, I, I'm pretty sure she's at least 20. Or if not mid twenties, like I, I don't know. They it wasn't completely clear, or I'm forgetting details. But then, so you also have a twenty something. I'm just gonna say twenty something, finished, not finished, but college, okay, with a sixteen year old girl, and she's not doing anything about what's happening. Especially when Georgia is telling her all this stuff and what has happened. Her father is the police off is a police officer, and the officers go to Aspera, so they're members. So like they're insiders, they're not going to do anything. However, you could go. I'm just thinking outside of this town in Aspera and look into. Um, a local journalist at local news stations so, like something you can you can do something but they are just sitting there at the end of the book and being like yeah we can't do anything so you're not going to go back right no and i'm just going to take off my the locket chain whatever that the uh co-owner gave me that's the book I don't know what particular message that sends, even if it's a thriller. I think there should have been way more involvement with Tyler since he's the grown adult and he's the one that's making, he's the only one that's making sense. Georgia's not making sense. Tyler is the only one making sense, but he is working six days a week and sleeping on his one day off if he gets a day off. So I think it is really about what you want from a story. And I know that there were a lot of people that were saying there needs to be some adults, some adult, like any adult, and one that is not assaulting Georgia, to bring in a reason and make it so that there is some accountability and that things can get better but we're gonna work on it even though it's really difficult and maybe we won't succeed but I'm the adult here we're taking charge so I don't know if that's I don't know if it's young adult it would definitely be upper I'm saying upper young adult novel not anyone under 16 I would say I, 17 to 19 I think it would be better if it was new adult, but there's no such thing as new adult in traditional publishing. So they choose young adult. 
And another thing that I didn't like is the one of the men that assaults Georgia made the m movie Sadie and won a bunch of awards and all that stuff, but then he's an assaulter of women, just like, and he has a huge rap sheet of that. That was obviously done on purpose. I don't know what that purpose was. Courtney didn't need to write that in. She didn't. She did it for a reason. I'm I'm curious as to why because I read that and I was pissed off. I was. I can't deny it. I didn't think that was needed. You could have just said some other book <laughs> that was turned into a movie. You didn't have to say specifically Sadie because Sadie is so fantastic. Better handles the topic in Sadie. I don't know if the topics handled in this book are necessarily good for young adults. If it was a, an adult novel, even with a 16 year old as the main character, I don't think I would have had that problem. But for those reasons, I knocked off a star and it's really actually 3.5 out of five stars, but I upped it to f uh, four stars because I do have residual love for Sadie and I I can I can see where the story is going I just don't like 100% of how it was executed unfortunately there were great parts the writing was actually fantastic I loved the writing other than those weird epilogue pages that did not make sense at the end but it was a good read that kept my interest there were just a little too many problems and i think the main one really big picture umbrella is it a young adult thriller and then everything else kind of fell through it if it was an adult book i don't think i would have had as much of a problem thank you so much for watching my book review on i'm the girl have a great rest of your day reading, writing, doing some self-care, whichever you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.